Dr. Latorio Yates was the keynote speaker at the Nonprofits Gala. He is the executive director for enrollment management at York College, CUNY. Correct. Welcome yes. to both of you. Thank you. Very nice to be here. What drew both of you to Uprising Stars Incorporated? Um, so I've actually been involved in uh, several other nonprofits just in a volunteer uh, capacity. And so what I was looking for was um, trying to be a little bit more involved in nonprofits, understanding how they work. And um, I'd actually looked online to see how I can get involved. And I found uh, the uh, perfect match. Yeah, perfect match. Uh, I found an, uh, an application online for Uprising Stars. They were looking for a board member. Um, so I actually went for an interview with uh, Danielle, the founder. And uh, we hit it off, and, and once I found out what exactly the nonprofit was about, um, you know, it really resonated with me. Um, they have a scholarship that's in honor of their um, father, um, and so that really resonated with me because I'm also missing my dad as well. So and sorry. So, uh, that's fine. And so, um, so I, I really, uh, I really wanted to help with the nonprofit and see that it was um, as successful as I could help them make it. And at that time, um, it you know it was a fairly new nonprofit, so I wanted to also grow with them as well. And I bet they're delighted to have you growing with them. Dr. Yates, do you feel the same way? Yes, definitely. Um, I'm, a, I'm a local Jersey City product, went to Lincoln High School, and an article was written about me in the Jersey Journal a few years ago about my academic journey to become Dr. Yates. And Danielle contacted me after reading that article and asked me to be a part of, of the gala. Um, conflict, I was not able to make the first one, but she, re, she was pretty persistent and um, stayed and asked me um, this past year, and I was so happy um, to be a part of the organization and be, be able to get a keynote address. What role do you both play in the organization? So I'm a board member. Um, I've been um, instituted to try to help um, bring on sponsorships and donations um, so that we can support um, providing more scholarships to more students every year. Uh, and also to um, help with supporting all the college workshops that are uh, that we provide as well. I'm a supporter. Um, I'm, I'm available to lend my name, my network, and resources to make sure that the organization is able to grow and continue to provide the wonderful service to do within the community and for young people. That is the message you get across then to people who are thinking about becoming a part of Uprising Stars Incorporated. Don't you love the name too? Yes, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> It's, it's a lot of motivation there. It's, it's knowing that um, you're giving a child the ability to go to college and uh, helping them with their tuition and all of the funding. It's really expensive. I'm also from Jersey City as well. So um, understanding that school is expensive and you know it's, it, there's a lot of students out there that are really academically have the prowess but don't, don't necessarily have the funding for it. So anything that we can do to help. And do you appreciate the passion the founders and co-founders bring? As I mentioned, uh, Danielle, is, is, um, she's very meticulous in the way that she go about things. And it's her passion that makes it easy for me to be passionate, especially given the keynote address. I work in higher education, so by the time students get to me in the application process, many of them as seniors start to wake up. What I appreciate about this organization is they're working with students as early as ninth grade to really get them excited about school and understanding their educational journey. If you don't start by the time you're in eighth grade and ninth grade making these decisions, it's gonna make it that much difficult later on when you really start. So it's very important, not only that the passion is exuded, but the work is put in, and the, the work family is definitely in, um, putting the work in to make sure it's a viable option locally, and it's gonna grow nationally and globally as well. Abba, Latoro, thank you both for coming on Spotlight New Jersey. We do appreciate that, keep up the good work. Coming up next, a young lady who's a 